Hey, how's it going guys? Marsh Games here and welcome to devlog number 14 for Unturned 4.0. Today we're going to be checking out a rather long video. I'm going to uh, condense it down a little bit, but a rather long video about Unturned Tools for Maya. Uh, this is a demonstration by Nelson and we're going to go over a 9 minute video and hopefully 5 minutes or less, so enjoy. Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the Unturned 4 tools for Maya, which are the tools I've been working on to make mesh and animation creation easier for Unturned 4. After downloading the zip folder you found in the description of his video, not mine, you can do the following. Once you've got that downloaded, you can unzip it. Once you've got this, you rename the containing folder to U4. It should have all these files in it. And then I'm going to use Control X to cut this. And we have to put it into Maya's modules folder, which can be found in your documents folder under Maya 2018 or whatever version you're using, modules and paste. Once you've got that pasted in there, you only need to do one other thing, which is to move the u4.mod file up one level into the modules folder. If you've got it installed correctly, you should see u4.mod as well as the u4 folder. When making a new scene, code will run automatically to set up the scene properly for Unreal Engine. He starts to explain that there are two camera options. The first one is for basically the regular head movements, and the second one is for just smaller movements like swinging and axing somewhat. And so he moves the camera up to the head because that's where most animations are going to be. That's where your vision is going to be, is where the camera is going to be. So next he drags the gun out, as you can see from this clip. So the arms are attached to the gun, so it looks like it's actually moving forward. So if you want to wire the arms are pointing back, that's just by default when he made the package for you to download. So there are two options, uh, you can export it to Unreal Engine 4, so you can have it in there, or you could do a uh, first person preview, and as you can see from this small little clip, this is what it's going to look like in first person, obviously there's nothing in front of him, it's just a uh, little test, so there's n there's nothing behind, there's no green or anything, it's just like that, it's just the peripheral vision of where he put the camera in front of the head, so if he put it down near the feet like it was originally, that's probably where you would have looked out. So he said by adding a new rig to Unturned 4 characters, it's much easier to do animations, and it's much easier to make rigs for animations. So as you can see, he can move the arms up and down the way he wants to hold his gun, and he's able to move his arms around as the gun is still attached to it, which is one of the benefits of the new Unturned 4.0 rigs. So by pressing Alt right click, you can set up a different spaces for the hand to be when you're doing certain tasks, like holding onto the handle, sliding the top, like reloading it, uh, putting in a new barrel, magazine, and zero, whatever that is. So since he uh, clicked on the slide, the arm will move as he moves the slide back and forth. So for another example, he just adds a sphere into the editor and he shows how you can pair it to your hand. So you move the sphere around and only your right arm will be moving with the sphere. And then as he moves the slide, the hand will not follow anymore. So this is just the brand new animation, kind of rigging things for animations on turn four. So you can like make your own rigs for your mods if you want to have custom animations. So it shows how you can take the magazine, unpair it, and then move the magazine around or your arm around so the magazine will not pair to it and will not move it with it. And then once you pair it, you can add the animations uh, to reloading your gun. So you can have the custom animation of reloading your specific gun that you made in, let's say, a mod. So besides the slide, all the other parts of the gun will have animations that you can animate yourself. So on a second window, on a second monitor, he has the first person preview, which he shows in a very uh, quick clip. As you can see, while he's doing this in the editor, it's also shown up on the first person clip. So it's kind of like a live preview of what you're animating and basically get an idea of how they're going to look in the game. So by adding a custom snappy marking menu, uh, you can have animations more precise, which apparently Nelson is really specific about. So that basically sums up this video, the character animation rig, so he wants to hear your thoughts about it, so uh, I uh, recommend go commenting on the forums and stuff like that so he can get a feedback of what you guys think and what he should change or what he what is good, so what he should keep. So tomorrow I'm going to be looking at this myself firsthand, I want to download the stuff like he said and play around to get more of a first person look at how all this whole new rigging thing works, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Uh, but please leave me your feedback and I'll be continuing to work on these tools and getting the beta out before 2025. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye-bye.